Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the pixellab.net. Uh, today I have a workflow tip for you. And I've been using this a lot uh, more recently when I'm doing my design frames. There's some other uses for it as well, but let's just jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we have our video board here, and I think I like these sidebars in blue, but I'm not totally sure. Um, we're not quite sure what the client wants, that kind of thing. So instead of kind of painting ourselves into a corner with this render, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my uh, blue color and I'm gonna make that sort of a middle gray. All right, so now I have these gray sides. Now what I'm gonna to wanna to be able to do is change the color in After Effects. So we're gonna go ahead and add an object buffer on these guys. So we're gonna to go to our compositing tag. And we're gonna go ahead and go to our object buffer and enable object buffer one. And then we're gonna control drag that tag onto the other side. And now we are set up. Let's go into our render settings, make sure we have multi-pass set on. And let's go to our object buffer, group one. And uh, we'll save this guy out. Let me make sure I'm going to the right place here, to our test folder, and we'll call this guy Buffer. All right, now let's go ahead and render. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and let's import that file. First, let's import our video board. I'll drag that into a new composition here. And then let's go ahead and import our object buffer. And uh, this is what our object buffer looks like. So we're just covering up those two panels. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is take our video board and duplicate it and then bring our object buffer on top. And then we're going to take that video board that we duplicated and we're gonna change the track mat to luma mat. And then it's gonna cut out where this object buffer is. So if we go ahead and solo that guy, you can see we have our side panels. All right, cool, so we've got it all set up. Now all we have to do is go to that layer and go to effect, color correction, and then hue saturation. And then what we can do is hit colorize and now we are rock and rolling. We can go ahead and turn up the saturation and uh, that's a little bit much. So now we can go ahead and just play around with any color that we like. And uh, this is a great, great way if you have, for instance, uh, one video board and you're having multiple different spots and say each of them is a different team with different colors, you can go ahead and just render one pass out and then do all the color correcting and uh, go ahead and modify the colors in post. And you have color lightness too, which kind of darkens the color or lightens it. So uh, I've been using this a lot more recently in design frames too, just playing around with different color options. It, uh, it makes it a lot faster than going back and forth between Cinema and After Effects. Uh, it takes just a couple steps to set up and there's a ton more flexibility. And the nice thing is you can use this technique on anything, on any design element. So I made an arrow recently and instead of making it a color, I just made it that flat gray and we can go ahead and add our hue saturation and uh, there you go. So it's definitely a really cool technique. Uh, and this actually saved me a lot of time because, you know, somebody comes back and says, you know, I like this color, but maybe a little bit more of a dark blue, you know, and then you can go ahead and change this without having to re-render. So it's a pretty slick technique, and I hope that uh, opens up some doors for you to speed up your workflow. Thanks for checking out the video, and uh, just a reminder, we just launched the, uh, the video production pack, so make sure to check that out. There are a ton of awesome models in here that Remco modeled. Really, really cool pack, so check that out. Thanks for supporting the site, guys. I really appreciate it, and we will talk again next time. Bye, everybody.